Ukraine crisis, how confrontation between Putin's Russia and Biden-led West will impact India's foreign relations. India is close to all the major global players, Russia, US, EU and Ukraine, hence it cannot afford to take sides. The last time conventional troops advanced into Ukraine, it was in 1941 and they were led by the famed panzer divisions of Germany in Operation Barbarossa. Initially, the Germans were greeted as liberators by some of the Ukrainian populace. In Galicia especially, there had long been a widespread belief that Germany, as the avowed enemy of Poland and the USSR, was the Ukrainians' natural ally for the attainment of their independence. The illusion was quickly shattered as the Nazi army unleashed a trail of destruction, including the killing of a large number of citizens, displacing millions, ethnic cleansing and enslavement. The Red Army subsequently turned the tables with their counteroffensive and Ukraine remained an integral part of the USSR even providing two of its leaders, Nikita Khrushchev, who was born just east of the Ukrainian border, and headed its Communist Party for many years from 1938. And of course, Leonid Brezhnev, who was born in Ukraine and served under Khrushchev in the propaganda department and later, in 1939, as a regional party secretary. Germany is now part of NATO and disinclined to provide combat troops to defend Ukraine, whereas Russia clearly sees the expansion of NATO into what it considers its strategic space as a red line. The question which is uppermost in every analyst's mind now is whether Moscow is willing to use military force to secure its interests across what it believes it should be its unquestioned sphere of influence in the former Soviet Union and beyond.